Another episode of Tossing Toys. We have Spider-Man Gamerverse for Marvel Legends. I picked up two different of these. We have this one right here, which is the Velocity uh, Suit Spider-Man. Very good looking. Then also, we have the Spider-Man Armor MK3. So. There's that one. We did pick up both of those at our local Walmart. And then, Alien Queen by Leonard Lanyard, however you pronounce it correctly. This thing is freaking killer. Um, I personally love it. We're gonna start right with that. Then we'll go to these. Like I said, this is gonna be a tossing toy, so we're not gonna take a long time on anything. Just a quick run through, show you what you guys, you know, show you if you guys should pick it up or not. So this right here is $19.99 at Walmart. It's a Walmart exclusive. Um, from what I'm seeing, I think they're going for around 40 to 50 bucks on eBay already. Uh, so if you're gonna get one, get it soon. Don't wait until you have to overpay the scalpers. We'll start with the articulation. All right, so yes, I am at work, everybody, so bear with me. The head goes back, the tongue comes out. Let's see if it comes through good. So you push back, that happens. The head will swivel all the way around. Um, the jaw moves, no tilt going into the arms. See, the arms will move all the way around. Then you can go out in. Really good amount of articulation on this big. I think it's 10 or 12 inches. Yeah, 10 inches. Sorry. Elbow. Like this thing's got. A good amount of articulation. Nothing in the hand or wrist, though. Then the little arms. Let's see if they're coming through. The little arms will rotate and move a little bit like this. So you can get some dynamic poses with those. Let's see. Nothing in the waist. Legs will move that and it comes out far and back far no knee and you got a little swivel in the foot go right around really anything you want to do tail get some swivel it isn't bendy or anything like I wish they did do bendy but for the price you really can't go wrong big thing about it is it is only 20 bucks the colors pop like there's purple there's blues you know lots of color you put this on your shelf it really stands out um, you know you look at the stuff back here let's see if we get some good viewing of the detail in the back yeah so like I'm saying, like it really does look good. Yeah, it might not be the most articulated alien on the market. You can go Monster Arts, you can go NECA, get a little more, but you're gonna pay a lot more too. Especially for a figure that's 10 plus inches. This thing is killer for the money and I really do recommend it. Um, I almost didn't buy it and I would have been kicking myself in my own butt if I did it. Like look at the color change from purple down to blue. Definitely really good looking. Very happy with it. 
Like I said, back that he'll come give you a kiss. And the teeth are pretty well detailed. My camera does have some issues. I'm sorry if my quality isn't as good as it used to be. I'm working on getting some new equipment. That's why I haven't been putting out anything with, uh, lately. All right, moving right along. So going to the Velocity suit, like the packaging, it's white, really stands out. Got a great picture on the side. Same one there. Back here gives you a little write up of what it is. Peter Parker enhances his spider suit with speed boosting technology to become the Velocity suit Spider-Man. Um, really cool. The build a figure is doppel uh, ah, not doppelganger, Jesus. Long day, sorry everybody. They're a gobble. Um, what I do want to do, the rest of the ones in the wave, I'm sure everybody already knows. The Vulture, in my opinion, looks pretty great. Um, you know, we're going to get them. We'll, we'll pick them up as we can. So these boxes are different than uh, some of the older waves. If everybody remembers how these used to open up, you'd be like this. And then there'd be that plastic piece. That plastic piece is now staying with the box. And there's pretty good looking art back there. Um, there you go, there's the build a piece. I'm not really gonna pull that out because I don't have it all yet. Got an effect there. Yeah, he doesn't come with much. Um, that's the only complaint I have so far. You know, I always want extra hands and maybe extra heads just for different eyes. Especially, you know, with Spider-Man. Let me see if I can adjust this a little better. So there he is out of the box. This is the effect that's coming with this one. Pretty interesting. You know, this will fit right over him like this. You know, whatever's whatever, right? All right, let's start with the head. Let's see. The eyes look really interesting. I like the the color with that blue and the red and the black. Articulations going all the way around. Um, oh man, very stiff. You know, I, I'm gonna have to heat this figure up a little bit, but. You know, you got your normal articulation on all your Spider-Mans that you've gotten in the past year. But the colors are freaking amazing. This thing really jumps out at you. Everybody knows what the Marvel Legends Spider-Mans do. So, this is going to photo well. I think anybody who gets this is going to be very happy. Spider butt, spider butt. You know, looks great. Especially for the price, you know, you're paying, what, 20 bucks. Very good looking. Gonna move right along. So I did just notice that there's a little paint missing right there. Other than that, my paint apps look really good. I have to figure out a way to touch that up, what color I need to do. And, of course, normal peggles. All right. So the next figure from the game reverse, um, this one, in my opinion, I like the other one a little better. Don't get me wrong, but this still looks great, um, box-wise, similar to the last. Got a great picture on the side with him swinging through. That looks great on the back. Let's see if I can get it close enough for everybody to be able to read it. If not, <clears throat> I'll read it for you. Peter Parker upgrades his spider suit with advanced technology known as Spider Armor MK3. Um, really everybody knows. I'm sure we've all played the game by now. It's a kick butt game. Um, you know, I'm going to hold my language back a little bit. Um, I hear there's some younger viewers that want to be able to see my stuff. And um, I have covered my arm where I have a tattoo that can be offensive to some people. Um, it's nothing bad, nothing like that. It's just a woman uh, without enough clothes on her 
just so everybody knows from now on that will be covered um, so if you want to let your kids watch go right ahead um, you know everybody should be able to watch these videos let's open up the box see how this one is and one thing I want to give a special shout out to Carbar Customs thank you for bringing that to my attention really appreciate it you know it's one of those things you don't even think about when you have a tattoo all right so as you see right now I have both of the little bit of legs now I just got to find the rest of the stuff all right so this one looks good nice and bulky um, one thing I'm seeing already though his uh, shoulder articulation might be cut down a little bit I'll know a little better in a second but man I don't, I don't know if I have, I'm gonna like that armor right there but we'll see let's see maybe I'll be wrong maybe, maybe they'll still work perfectly but you know when you buy a spider-man you want to have articulation all right that goes around that way but oh yeah it's all I'm getting up without breaking it so that's the big issue right there other than that I'm sure the rest of it will be about the same let's see you know everything else is the same same elbows everything man those shoulders are gonna kill me you're not gonna be able to get your arms up past kicks his own butt great looking spider on the back of him that looks really good man the quality of this camera is horrible I'm very sorry like I said I will be getting a new camera soon um, it's my birthday coming up and honestly I want to pick up a couple hot toys and then after that I'm gonna pick up a new camera but as you see this does look good you know I really like the paint oh, man that's not coming through is it yeah it's not coming through quite as good as I would like but it does look really good the blues with the reds and the blacks but once again you only get one head one set of hands nothing extra it just looks really good and you're not going to have nearly enough articulation there um, and then his web you know this one's a little small we'll figure out something cool to do with it but I end up usually using one from different uh, figures with these, like either Mezco or somebody else, any other company that actually does some better uh, web effects. But it really does look good, and I do like the back. All that's got a lot of detail. All in all, you know, I say get it if you get a chance and you can find it for a good price, buy it. You know, I paid eleven dollars a piece for this one and this one. So for twenty-two bucks, I had to buy it. Um, all in all, I really enjoy these figures. I recommend getting them. And you never know when the predator is going to come through and take out your Spider-Man. But thank you, everybody. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Share my videos, please. If you want to use any of my photos on Instagram or here, you want to take some of this, please do. Use it. Um, spread the word. Budget Collector, Collector Crew, Tossing Toys, another episode down. And peace out, everybody. Go collect some figs.